Earlier this week, a brand new Godox transmitter was spotted at the Portrait Masters photo conference in Arizona by photographer Justin Haugen, and it looks pretty intriguing because it's the first touchscreen transmitter by Godox. While touchscreen devices sound great, I honestly just prefer physical buttons myself. It's easier to use in the cold if you have gloves, and it's also just a personal preference for me. I come from a time where I used to be able to text behind my back with T9 phones, and I just like to get familiar with the device so I can use it without physically looking at it, and that's definitely helpful when it comes to photography. But you guys can let me know in the comment section below if you prefer devices with a touchscreen or ones with physical buttons, or if you even know what a T9 phone is. Not only is this new Godox transmitter touchscreen, but it also seems to possibly be the smallest transmitter that Godox has made so far, since it only seems to be about the size of a Sony body cap or a rear lens cap by a Sony lens. It even looks similar in size to an Apple Watch or the size of most wireless mics out there like this one right here that Godox made not too long ago. On the size alone, I can see this as being a huge benefit to any photographer out there who wants to cut down space in their camera bag. Think of the off-camera flash photographers out there who use very ultra mobile setups like the 100 Pro with the SMDV softboxes. Although I do like the X-Pro transmitter, the size can be a little bit bulky sometimes, so the idea of a slimmer transmitter is great even if it's just for an emergency backup transmitter. Another thing of interest to me was the display of the transmitter, which did appear to be OLED. So that is gonna be something that's very beneficial to any photographer who uses the transmitter in bright sun, because it has been an issue in the past with past Godox transmitters. When you want to really see the display and you're in bright sun, it can be a little bit of an issue. For a long time now, critics of the Godox products in terms of the transmitters have had a point and that the displays aren't the best, but my argument for that is at least the battery life lasts a long time. In my own personal experience with my Expo transmitter, I think the batteries died on them after two years of use, and when it did happen at the photo shoot, I was pretty much caught off guard because I thought the batteries were just gonna last forever, but they did die, but thankfully, of course, I had backup batteries at that photo shoot. But talking about battery life, the main downside to a nice display on a transmitter is gonna be bad battery life, at least compared to ones that don't have a nice display. Going off the size alone, I would bet that the new transmitter by Godox is gonna be rechargeable since even the size of AAA batteries would no doubt take up space that the transmitter could save on by not having those batteries in them, which is pretty unfortunate since I am not a fan of rechargeable devices since I do like to have backup batteries at my photo shoots in case something dies. If the batteries on this new Godox transmitter were to die, then you might need to have just another backup Godox transmitter, touchscreen Godox transmitter, which is gonna be costly, or you just always have to worry about the battery life, and I'd just rather have a backup battery just there on standby in case something dies. One awesome feature that I know you guys are gonna be very happy about is the new metal hot shoe on this new Godox transmitter, because if you guys know anything about any sort of transmitter out there, or even Speedlight that has a Sony hot shoe, you know that they are notorious for breaking. When it comes to the price of this new Godox transmitter, it is a little bit difficult because this one is rich in features. So the fact that it has touchscreen, the fact that it has an OLED display, and that it's rechargeable, it makes me think that the price is gonna be higher than the normal kind of price of Godox transmitters. So I'm thinking somewhere between 150 to 200 dollars. And that's specifically because of those different features that it has, those nice features. Hopefully it's not more than 200 dollars because at that point I feel like it's too rich for my blood personally, but it's definitely something that's, you know, dependent on you guys as photographers. I would say the things that you want to look out for when it comes to figuring out if you want to get this transmitter or not is the few defining features that it has. The battery life, how responsive the display is, how clear that display is in bright sun, the metal hot shoe, the benefit of its smaller size, and of course the price itself. I would definitely love to be wrong though on the price and it be around $100, but we'll just have to wait and see. If I get a copy myself, you can bet that I'll make a follow-up video answering any questions you guys have about this new transmitter that you can definitely leave in the comment section below of this video. For now, I'll just leave off this video with a guess on the name that it's gonna be, and my guess is gonna be the Godox X Pro Micro or the Godox X Pro Mini, and I'm thinking the Mini is more likely. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the very next video.